In this lesson for Nick Software Sharpener Pro 3.0, we'll take a look at the output sharpening capabilities of the software and the options that are available to you. You'll notice that under the output sharpening, right now we have under the menu, we have display setup. Display would replicate what you would see in a VGA projector, for example, or possibly on a website where you are visually sharpening for your eye. And you have an adaptive sharpening slider which you can move left and right to increase or decrease that amount of sharpening. But you're basically using this as a visual representation. Next one down would be inkjet. Under inkjet, we have some very specific settings under, under this area. Auto, we always recommend for viewing distance. Um, it takes into account the size of the image based on specific data on the viewing distance at that size. Paper type options you have, luster, textured paper, canvas, plain paper, matte paper, glossy. And again, the algorithms are written specifically for the output device and for the paper surface. Printer resolution. The desktop printer that I'm working with today is a 24 by 2400 resolution, so I'll set that. And basically, the output sharpening allows me the ability to no longer have any, any type of guesswork or using my monitor to judge the amount of sharpening I'm doing in my pictures. This saves me time, it saves me money by saving paper and a lot of testing time. So we think that if you'll get used to and comfortable with these settings, you'll find that they're very, very accurate in optimizing the sharpness for your pictures.